home alone and what a treat it is. It should always be about self-love, whether it is reading a book, catching up on a magazine or just binge watching Netflix. It should always be about you. When it comes to cooking, I enjoy my favorite pastime, rummaging through my freezer and digging out something that I can create. I'm going to be creating today a twisted version to a carbonara with my sous vide smoked duck breast, orange rind and orange juice just adding that flavor with slight hints of chili. Let's get to creating it and most importantly watching loads of Netflix. Let's get to it. When you're home alone, it's always about cooking in 20 minutes so you do not really spend too much of time in the kitchen and this holds weight for those who actually cook day in and day out to please the family. Now for my carbonara, it's really very simple. I've got a pot of simmering salted water and we're just going to get to boiling my linguine. It's also about crash cooking. So in goes half a packet of linguine and it's gonna take about eight minutes till it gets done. No drama, no fanfare. We're just gonna allow this to soften and get to that all down stage. And in the meantime, let's get to creating that bursting with flavor goodness of chili and orange. While a carbonara follows the principles of bacon with an egg yolk and cream laison, we are going to style it up, omit the bacon, complement it with some duck breast, smoked and perfect, along with hints of orange, hints of orange rind, chili, just to get that flavor, but a very twisted version of a carbonara. Starting off into a pan, I'm going to use nearly 20 ml of extra virgin olive oil, allow it to get nice and hot and we're going to infuse it with about six cloves of garlic and three chilies and I'm using the bird eye chilies because I want that heat and the spice. Finely sliced, you just saute both this together till it infuses and gives out that robust flavor. I enjoy the garlic to be slightly brown so go as it suits you along with two red onions finely minced just to give it some depth. Allow this to soften till it gets to a luscious pink color. Out here, technically I fused two great classics. One is orange and duck along with a carbonara. It's just about marrying flavors and getting everything well. So into this goes two smoked duck breasts that I've just cut into large, large chunks. Allow this to saute, just releasing all that goody duck fat into this creation. If you don't have smoked breast of duck, you can go right ahead and use a smoked chicken breast or just go as experimental as it suits you. You want this creation to saute for a good two to three minutes and the trick out here is to let the duck fat ooze out and get absorbed into the onions. As the linguine is simmering to perfection on the other side, it's time to create that gorgeous bursting with flavor laison. So out here I've got four egg yolks that I'm just going to add into a bowl. Into that I'm adding the rind of one orange. I'm used to Valencia oranges and I want that to have that zing and that burst of flavor. A quick whisk along with about half a cup of Parmesan cheese, the juice of two Valencia oranges and about 150 ml of gorgeous full fat cream. A quick whisk and we're going to season this entire laser. fine sprinkle of some sea salt and since you're not seasoning everything out there you're just going to ensure that it's well balanced and heavily seasoned along with freshly milled pepper and go as liberal as you can handle. I love black pepper and the heat just gets perfect in this creation. A quick whisk and it's ready to sit on the side. 
I want the duck breast to get a slight sear, but at the same time absorb the flavor that the garlic and the bird eye chilies bring to this creation. So just occasionally stir it till it gets to that right crunch and consistency. As the duck breast has rendered all its fat and the onions have absorbed them, it's now time to take the linguine straight from this pot with a little bit of the water that holds on in between and dunk everything in. Quite a messy affair, but you're at home, you're home alone. You can just do it as it pleases you. Just lift it up and put it in. I'm not allowed to work with Linguin when the family is here because they're not a great fan of long, messy spaghetti or Linguin and I'm a great fan of it. With all the Linguin into the pot and a quick stir, what a nightmare it was transferring it from one to another. Be careful and if you have the time, just strain it into a large sieve or a colander and dunk everything into this. We're going to allow this to cook absorbing all the flavors for a good two to three minutes before switching off the flame and adding that carbonara emulsion into it. Three minutes of cooking this I have switched off the flame because there's nothing more unappetizing than carbonara that has curdled. So the trick out here is switch off the flame, let it come down to a heat that is tolerable and you just pour your laser in and allow it to cook with the heat that is lying in the pot. And cast irons work really well in this regard. So a quick stir and we're going to wait for another minute before we put that entire laser in. While you don't get the sizzle coming out of the pan, it's the perfect time to add the laser right in. A quick stir and it's time to take it right off the pan. A sloppy creation that works perfectly well. Any leftover of this creation works really well even cold. All you need to do is give it a fine garnish of some shredded basil on top just to accentuate the flavor and that burst of freshness. Self-love really takes on a whole new meaning with this twisted version of a carbonara. The citrusy wonder that orange brings to this laser is summery, yet has that warm and good appetizing feel to the meal. It's movie time for me now. I hope you enjoyed creating this classic with me. Twisted yet soulful and so 21st century in the making. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always, always say, don't forget to subscribe. Here I am with a movie started, facing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen. And